The firearms industry is swarmed with loads of different pistol caliber carbines. Ruger, Colt, Sig Sauer, and CZ are some of the biggest names making them. And there are countless AR pattern PCC made by dozens of companies big and small, it can be overwhelming to figure out which one is better than the next. Let's take a look at our top 10 pistol caliber carbines. CZ Scorpion Evo Series The CZ Scorpion is not just a fun rifle, but an excellent platform for a home defense rifle. The majority of the weapon is polymer, with metal in all the important areas. Polymer reduces the cost and weight of a rifle. The controls are well-placed and easy to activate. Everything clicks, pops, and pulls without issue. Sure, it doesn't have the oomph of a true rifle caliber, but it's certainly a capable and effective weapon at home defense ranges, especially with hollow points. The CZ is easy to handle, very lightweight, and recoil is almost non-existent. You also won't get blinded as much since the longer barrel allows gunpowder to burn off and reduces muzzle flash. The little 9mm round is a lot quieter than any rifle round. It's especially quiet when fired from a rifle. It's not hearing safe, but 147 grain subsonic loads are going to do a lot less damage to your ears than any 5.56 or 12 gauge round. The CZ Scorpion EVO 3S1 is an awesome rifle. It's well made easy to control, and has looks to die for. Chris Vector The Chris Vector comes in ninth on the list as a remarkable and versatile 16-barreled carbine. The Super V system makes the Vector easy and comfortable to shoot. The non-linear multilink blowback design takes the recoil energy and redirects it down instead of back and up, thus counteracting the muzzle rise. SG says that this is a very good option for home defense, and is said to be the most controllable and fasted PCC on the market. The Vector was designed for tactical team deployment in CQB situations, so this carbine does one thing very well, and that is to spit bullets at the target at blinding speeds, according to SG. The Chris Vector is a space gun, both in looks and in technology. It bucks the standard blowback technology for a crazy ramp thing. It looks like it's out of a sci-fi movie and it's well-loved in video games because of how different it looks. If you want a non-restricted space gun in Canada, check out the Chris Vector. CMMG Banshee This teeny tiny gun is perfect for inside the home and would be an excellent tool for those who may not be able to handle a full-sized rifle or shotgun and knows how hard a handgun can be to shoot accurately. The Banshee MK17 is also easy to suppress, and with a suppressor present, the length is still shorter than a standard AR-15 with a 16-inch barrel. And it's also an excellent weapon for those who already own the P320 family of handguns. The ability to share magazines could be a valuable commodity or just plain convenience. The MK-17 is also an alternative to most standard blowback-operated AR-15 PCC. The Banshee is blowback operated but uses a rotary delayed action that reduces some of the issues blowback PCC run into. If you're looking for a premium option for a PCC, then this one makes its way into the arena as a top contender. Premium also means a rather high price admittedly, and the value is going to be subjective in a lot of ways. The MK17 comes in three different series. The 100, 200, and 300. This is the 300 series and is the most feature-filled and most expensive option. So if you want a ball, this is the baller choice. Sig Sauer MPXK The Sig Sauer MPXK carbines are some of the most popular pistol caliber carbines on the market today, according to SG. They have AR controls but are fully ambidextrous. The short-stroke gas piston has no buffer tubes so a folding stock can be used on the MPXK it is a small package with a 13.3 barrel and pin 2.7 flash hider to make it a legal length. SG states that they found the MPXK to be super reliable and nice to shoot. The choice of professionals worldwide. The MPXK offers a closed bolt gas piston system that is ultra reliable and durable. As with all MPX, the K is modular allowing for multiple handguard and barrel lengths and is ready to go for suppressor use. The K now features the SIG PCB folding brace, which allows the K to fold into an ultra-compact size and be operable in the folded position.
The K also features an updated M-Lock handguard, which is available as accessories in multiple lengths for suppressor coverage. Finally, the K is upgraded with the ultra-smooth, ultra-fast Timmy trigger. Co-designed by Timmy and SIG, this trigger offers the Timmy performance you have come to expect we with the ultimate reliability to make it survive the punishment of a subgun platform. If you are looking for the ultimate modular subgun, look no further than the MPXK from SIG Sour. Keltec Sub 2000. This weird looking gun is probably the very definition of a portable 9mm rifle. It's short, lightweight, and dependable, but what I most like about this one is that it's focused entirely on utility. The Caltech SUB 2000 rifle offers an edge in camping and survival, and you can fold it down and put it into a backpack for storage. Simply rotate the barrel upwards and back, and you can turn it into a metal heap that's 16 inches long and 7 inches high. Once you secure the rifle with a built-in lock and key system, it stays folded. It has a Picatinny accessory rail above and below the barrel for aftermarket customization. The reason why it's in such high demand is its reliability and accuracy, all thanks to the 16.25-inch barrel length. The minimalist and odd appearance may fool someone, but best believe that it works just the way that the manufacturer intended. Aero Precision EPC At its core, the EPC is an upper and lower receiver. And while that sounds decidedly average, the EPC is more than that. Aero Precision didn't toss out a Glock-compatible lower and say, good game. They worked to ensure their product was rock-solid and innovative. One of the more interesting features is the last round bolt hold open device functional with Glock magazines. It's placed in the upper receiver and resembles a hook. The EPC is customizable so it can be whatever you need. It is an AR-type carbine takes Glock mags, and the company sells the uppers and lowers separately to meet the needs of the end user. The PCC boasts a large magazine release button and a large magwell flare for quick reloads. For SG, this one is the best back for the buck for the 9mm PCC sector. They found it to have excellent accuracy and ergonomics. B and T USA App 9 Pro the APC-9 Pro 9mm rifle from B and T USA might just be one of the coolest looking and most fun to shoot 9mm rifles on the market today. This compact assault rifle measures only 15.15 in total length, making it extremely maneuverable and ideal for both sport shooting and home defense. The APC-9 Pro feeds from a 30-round magazine which provides plenty of ammo for many different applications. The Trilug muzzle device found on the barrel of the APC-9 Pro was designed to allow for rapid mounting of suppressors and other muzzle attachments such as muzzle brakes. With an ambidextrous charging handle, this semi-auto carbine is accessible to both left-handed and right-handed shooters. Flip-up front and rear sights and a polymer stock complete this standout 9mm rifle. Ruger PC 9mm Carbine this Ruger 9mm carbine has one of the simplest designs on the market today, but make no mistake, it's our top notch in reliability and performance. If simple and sweet is up to your alley, the Ruger PC 9mm carbine is a perfect match for your next range date. This carbine is recommended by professionals as one of the most reliable 9mm carbines to date. There's not much else to say about it other than the rail on top is a fantastic integrated addition for easily adding optics, and this pistol caliber firearm is great for some quality range time or home defense. It's incredibly easy to strip and clean, and I'd say these are one of the easier 9mm carbines to become familiar with the platform for someone new to owning a pistol caliber carbine firearm. The Ruger PC 9mm carbine is incredibly easy to acquire targets with the factory sights. It's the perfect plinker for anyone on a budget. Iwi Taver X95 The Israeli weapons industry's Taver X95 gives a 9mm PCC in a bulb-up configuration. The shorter overall firearm has the action in the rear allowing it to be very controllable with a carbine barrel. SG states that it is a great home defense firearm that is also available in A.223X56 with 9mm conversion kits or as a straight 9mm system. 
The 16.5 barrel in the X95 is what you'd expect for a combat rifle. Chrome lining and cold hammer forging provide an increased lifespan over your entry-level rifle barrel. A 1.7 twist is pretty standard as well, and tends to be considered mil-spec for this length barrel. IWI went with a long-stroke gas piston system in the TAVR which offers some benefits. Most notably you'll experience some increased reliability from a long-stroke piston system for two reasons. Compared to a direct impingement system like the AR-15, a piston gun doesn't expel gas directly into the receiver. The gas that comes from the barrel pushes the face of the piston in the gas tube versus making its way all the way to the bolt carrier group. Additionally, long stroke systems have the added benefit of applying quite a bit of force to the bolt carrier, which makes it very reliable in adverse conditions. PSA Act V The Act V is Palmetto State Armory's 9mm AK pistol version of the Russian Vidyaz submachine gun. The design of the AKV includes a blowback operated system that ensures a smooth cycling action and is chambered in 9mm. The lever safety, paddle release, and side charging handle are all familiar, but it is not Kalashnikov through and through. The blowback function present in the system means that some features are purely for aesthetics. As an example, the front sight block is just a sight. They pinned and welded a barrel extender to get to the 16 required by law and kept it from being classified as an SBR.